and I'm so excited to be enjoying the lesson with you today. Every week that we get together, we have five things that we do during our time. We've been in this great theme called Press Play, and I'm so excited for us to dive into a new true story from the Bible. The first thing that we're gonna do during our time today is we're gonna worship through song. Then we're gonna worship through offering, then we're gonna pray together, we're gonna watch the lesson, and then we're gonna say goodbye. So let's stand to our feet and let's worship God through song together, and then I'll see you here after. It's a beautiful day, I wanna celebrate, I wanna tell everyone, I just can't wait. so great he can do any anything i just can't wait so i'm gonna tell everyone everywhere about the love of jesus yeah everyone everywhere i want the world to know oh everyone everywhere about the love of jesus so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna
that time of worshiping together. Now let's continue worshiping through our offering. We're going to put our hands over our heart and we're going to sing an offering song to God where we commit our heart to Him. You can also give to God monetarily if you'd like, but for now, let's put our hands over our heart and sing our offering song together. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our offering to the Lord. We give our hearts to Jesus. Great job, friends. Now, would you bow your heads and close your eyes so that I can pray for you? Father, thank you so much for the ways that you have been blessing us this month through this series. I pray, Father, that today, again, the lesson is just timely, that it blesses us, that you speak to us, and that we learn more about why we can trust you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, friends, let's go with Luis. We're going to hear a story about one of the disciples, Peter, and how he had to trust God. So let's go watch the lesson together, and then I'll see you here after. Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story. And today I'm doing the limbo. I tried to do it at a birthday party last week and I knocked the bar right off. So I'm gonna practice and get better. To do the limbo first, you have to put a bar up like this. Then, you need fun music. Music player, Melody. Yes, Kai. Please play limbo music. Playing limbo music. Then you walk under the bar without knocking it down. Everyone take a deep breath with me. Ready? Here it goes. Do you think I can put the bar lower? Shout yes if you think I should go lower. Okay, let's try it. Here I go. Whew, that was close. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Doing the limbo, are you? I am, Ollie. I walked under the bar two times without knocking it down. That's some fancy walking. It's true. I know someone else who took an amazing walk, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Yep, that's going to be a problem. Oh, hola friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Look at this. There's a hole in my toy boat. If I put this in the water, it would sink. <laughs> Which reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yeah. 
Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. <laughs> While Jesus was here on earth, he did things to show us how much God loves us, how God hears us when we pray, and how God is always with us. And we can always trust God. Today's story is about a time when Jesus showed his friend Peter that he can trust God. And it begins with a boat on the water at night. Jesus' friends were out on the water when all of a sudden they saw something they had never seen before. They saw a person walking on water. Everyone say, what? Ready? What? Who can walk on the water? Well, the person got closer and closer and closer. The disciples were so afraid. <laughs> Show me your afraid face. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, the person said, it's me. Don't be afraid. It was Jesus. <laughs> right away, Peter said, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. Peter stepped out of the boat. And guess what? Peter started walking on the water too. But then Peter looked around and saw the wind. <gasps> He got scared and started to sink. But Jesus reached out and caught him so he wouldn't sink. Then they got back in the boat together. <laughs> Jesus showed Peter and the disciples that we can always trust God, even when scary things happen. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can trust God? I can trust God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God, and we can trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. Jesus showed Peter how to trust God when he stepped out of the boat and walked on water. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to keep walking under this limbo stick. Melody, let's limbo! I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks, Luis, and thanks, Ollie. How amazing is it that Peter would trust Jesus so much? Sometimes the things that Jesus asks us to do are a little bit scary, but I hope that this month, as you learn more and more about the true stories from the Bible, that you remember that you can trust God, no matter how hard what he's asking you might seem. Thank you so much for being with me today as we enjoyed the lesson and we worship. Now we're gonna get into number five, but before we go, let's do our memory verse. Remember, it's trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. One more time, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, verse 5. I had a great time with you today. I hope you did too. I'll see you next week. 